Let's think about uh, variance. Um, what measures our spread of data? Oh, back in year eight, we did the range. In year nine, because we uh, calculated the five number summary, we had the interquartile range. In year 10, we spoke about the standard deviation in a lesson. Didn't actually calculate it, but we spoke about it. So you're either grade 11 or grade 12 are doing some revision. In year 12, we've got to uh, calculate our standard division, our standard deviation. And that's linked to something called variance. Uh, variance. So it's all, statistics is all hooked up. Um, lots of different things talk about the data and we need to calculate everything. Okay, there is a link between standard deviation and variance. So standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So if we know one, we know the other. They're, they're inexplicit, yeah, they're linked. They are absolutely linked. Sometimes you'll see standard deviation with an S or sometimes sigma. Sigma, that's a capital sigma and that's a lowercase sigma. Greek letters, sigma. Usually the sigma is for a population standard deviation and the S is the standard deviation of a survey. Um, let's not get too hung up on that just yet. Okay. In our formula sheet, we have this bad boy, variance equals. So we will be able to calculate the variance and then from the variance, we just square rooted to get our standard deviation. Um, this looks fun, doesn't it? So let's see how that thing works. So we're summing something together, aren't we? We're summing some sort of multiplier together. Okay. Calculate the variance of the probability distribution. Uh, yeah, probability distributions don't just go that way. Px equals x. They can go vertical as well. Don't get hung up on it. They can be any way, you, any way the book desires. So the first thing we're going to see is that uh, in this rule we have mu, and we don't know what mu is. Uh, we actually do know our x's and our p's because there's our x's and there's our p's, but we don't know mu. Hmm. Mu is the expected value. Uh, let's put that there. And expected value is the sum of pi xi, uh, which is zero. So we're going to multiply across this time because the table's different and then add down but I'm gonna show it as the rule. So there's my first PIXI and I'm gonna add it to my second PIXI. And I'm gonna add it to my third. I'm gonna do that as many times as we like. And we're gonna get an answer. Uh, clearly in our calculator, nine on five. So that's Mu, mu is nine on five. So we now know this green little thing here. Uh, because we've lost sight of that thing there, of, let's just go mu equals nine on five. And we're gonna table back. And now we've got to look at this thing here. So it's the sum of the probability. So for the first I, I'm looking at this row. So 0 0.064 multiplied by xi, 0 minus mu. And then the second line for the second i, the p will be 0 0.288. And I'm going to multiply that by xi, which is 1 minus mu. And then I'm going to, you can see that it's just a pattern. Let's not get too worked up about it. Uh, the probability in that third line is 0 0.432, and then it's the x is 2 minus mu. And we're going to keep going on there. 
and we're going to get an answer uh, 0 0.72 so the variance of x equals sorry about that didn't didn't think about that too much okay so you know it looks look, looks tragically hard but um it really isn't oh i can't get rid of that other one okay it's just a pattern you will get used to it uh, that was so much fun we're going to do it again these ones are not on your formula sheet so we recognize that um, the expected value of X is actually mu so both of those formulas are exactly the same you need to see them the same this one just looks a little bit nicer on the eye uh, okay so what we would if we started from scratch again we're going to go hey we don't know mu so let's get our mu uh, uh, mu equals the expected value for x is the sum of pi xi which is what we did before zero times then the next one etc uh, etc et and you're going to get mu equals 1.8 which was 9 on 5 whatever it is don't really care just so that we don't run out of room there Gonna rub that out because we've done that before now just get rid of all of that that was pretty easy this thing we did an abstract application for the expected value of x and we actually used e of x squared and this is why we did it so if this is x then x squared is going to be 0 squared 1 squared 2 squared 3 squared and we get this extra line here so that when we calculate e of x squared it's going to be 0 times 0 0.064 gosh 0 times 0 0.064 plus 1 times that uh, decimal was right in the right place plus 4 times plus 9 times uh, there's no chance we can do that without a calculator and we're going to get e of x squared equal to 3.96 so all of a sudden we know what this baby is so let's just cut to the chase so the variance of x will be e to the x squared minus uh, let's do mu squared and mu was 1.8 squared and if you do that in your little handy dandy calculator guess what you get 0 0.72 0 0.72 being the same value that we had up there um, i'm going to go these uh, the formula is probably pretty important so when you're doing your Casio work, uh, Casio will give you the expected value of x. It will also give you e of x, the expected value of x squared, and it will also give you sigma. Um, given that you know uh, you might need to find a variance, if you know what sigma is, <laughs> you, and it's a tech, uh, tech active exam, you don't need to do any of that jazz. Uh, if you know sigma, then the variance is just going to be the square of sigma. And uh, clearly, if, if the calculator is going to just give you these values here, uh, then it's going to be quite easy to calculate the variance of x as well. So I'm going to go, these formulas are really quite important uh, because they marry in with your calculator. Um, and it's not given, I'm going to highlight that, uh, these rules are not given on your formula sheet. 
but I'm you know, thinking they're probably pretty important because they'd be easy to work with. Okay, that was long video, sorry about that. There's a fair bit to variance.